Here we go. Let's begin with our first finalist this evening, Man of the World, Philippines. Please join us here. Good luck. All right, Man of the World, Philippines. I have to ask this question because you're Philippines. Do you feel any pressure right now? Actually, I was feeling a little bit pressure, but right now with this wonderful crowd and all Filipinos are cheering right now, so I want to make everyone proud. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> well, best of luck, Man of the World, Philippines. Please choose a flag. And he chooses the USA. USA, all right. Your coat this evening is. Here, let me do I help you? To be in the center of two good looking men, my job is so hard. <laughs> all right, man of the world, Philippines, here's your coat. The United States of America. If you think education is expensive, try ignorance. This was said by Anne Landers. Are you okay? You wanna read one more time? It's it's fine. It's alright. Okay. If you think education is expensive, try ignorance. Alright. So the meaning of this quote is nowadays education is super expensive all across the world. Some countries give a free education to build up unity. In, the, in that area, in, country, in that area or community. So right now, ignorance is not the way we deal with it. The way we deal with it is to try our best and chase our dream. Because rather, if we stayed sitting around and saying that, oh, if education is expensive, work for it, work hard for it to build an empire, and you can get your best education. Thank you. Well said, man of the world, Philippines. Thank you so much for explaining the quotation from the American flag. All right, up next is man of the world, Netherlands. Hello. Hi. What's your first name? Jardo. Jardo. Am I, am I pronouncing that right? Jardo Carla. Ano ba yun, huh? <laughs> in Visaya, we call this abtikai. <laughs> All right. Jardo, so you've been here in the Philippines for how long? How many weeks already? Two weeks? Now, like, uh, 10 days. I guess this is my 10 days. 10 days. And you've been eating a lot of Filipino food? Uh, a lot of rice, a lot of chicken, a lot of vegetables. <laughs> but I really love it, so I'm a, I'm a lucky guy. Oh, so what, do you have a fa favorite Filipino food that you've kind of stuck to or what kind of want to try again yeah i can remember at the first hotel we were with uh, men of the world they had like i don't know the name of it but like a sort of cucumber juice that we don't have in the netherlands or i don't know about it uh, and that was really uh, really tasty so i love that you have to try balot it's really good yeah it's uh, it's it's kind of uh, how do you call it it's like a, a delicacy i would say it's like a egg and, uh, with an embryo inside, and it's very good for you. No, forget yes. balot. Come to Cebu with me. <laughs> Try lechon. Right? <laughs> lechon. It's a very, very Filipino thing. Okay, you don't have to come with me. We can go with Fabio, but you know, sure. Carla, Carla. <laughs> Carla, Carla. But lechon is a very, very big delicacy here. Have you tried it, le lechon? No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, it's like um, con conchichilio. Conchichilio. Cochinillo. Cochinillo. Yeah. Conchichichi. <laughs> I don't cochichi. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's like that. So anyways, try. Anyways, we're getting a no. So, uh, Man of the World Netherlands, please choose a flag. Go with Ireland. Ireland. Also. Your coat for this evening is... We learn from failure, not from success. This was said by Bram Stoker. Once again, we learn from failure, not from success. This was said by Bram Stoker. Yeah, of course, I totally agree with um, this quote because in my opinion, uh, you first have to do things wrong to know how you do th them right. Um, even if you go to school about education, um, you, you, you just do your test the best when you first get filled so, because you know what you're doing right. 
And I think we need to get to stuck together and don't blame each other for doing things right. Or also at the gym, I see guys like, uh, hey, you're not doing it good, but you learn from it. So, yeah, just keep going and uh, respect each other. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Up next is Man of the World, Ukraine. You've got a lot of fans. <laughs> It's because I believe he has, he's a TikToker. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I, a TikToker, like, you know, like us young ones. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, you are, as I said, you are a TikToker. How did you get into it? Or did it start as a hobby? You know, I was afraid you're going to ask me to do something, you know, to do some TikTok right here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I started as a hobby during pandemic because there was nothing else to do. You stay at an apartment and you have a lot of time. You got to do something. Otherwise, you're just going to go crazy. And uh, yeah, that is how it started from the hobby and it became my passion. And uh, I love what I do, you know. <laughs> I do too. It gets quite addicting, doesn't it? <laughs> All right. Please choose a flag. France. France. So France. He chose France. Okay. Viva la France. Viva la France. You finally got it right. <laughs> All right, your quote for this evening is, he who opens a school closes a prison. This was said by Victor Hugo. He who opens a school closes a prison. You know, when it comes to school, what is a school, first of all? This is education. This is what you get this is your basics, this is what your teachers teach you, how to be, what to do, what is good, what is not. When you don't go to school, when you have no education, unfortunately, there's a lot of families, a lot of kids who do not go to school. They do what they think right, and sometimes what they think right is actually wrong, and they don't know this. And this is actually what they teach and study at school. So I wish that in each country, we'll have opportunity to go to school, to know what is right and what is wrong. Because at the end of the day, um, at the end of the day, edu without education, there is no future. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much, man of the world, Ukraine. Thank you for your answer. Up next is Man of the World, India. India, please join us here on stage. All right, Man of the World, India. Are you nervous? Uh, not much, but yeah, a bit. <laughs> not much, that's good. Well, let's go straight into you choosing your flag. Yes, which flag do you pick? Pakistan. Pakistan. Okay, here we have the Pakistan flag with your coat behind. Let's read it. Your code is, with guns you can kill terrorists, with education you can kill terrorism. This was said by Malala Yousafzai. With guns you can kill terrorists, with education you can kill terrorism. I think I was uh, really expecting this, but uh, I really want to say this. Even the topics came out on Ukraine and Russia also. I really want to speak on this topic. The thing is, the terrorism or the wars, or these are not the countries which are, you know, uh, responsible for it. It is just one person behind it who gets the mind involved. In he might have his ego in the wars or anything like that. But if you have the true knowledge, whom to follow and whom not to, that is where education will lead you to. If you get the knowledge, whom to follow, whom not to, you will never get into terrorism. Trust me. Terrorism is nothing but just a mindset which has gone in a wrong way. You miss the self-belief, you go in the different way. Believe in yourself, choose your path wisely, and yes, do have education before you choose it. Thank you so much. Very well said, Mr. Man of the World, India. Thank you so much for your answer. Very well said. Hello, Man of the World, Vietnam. Do we have an interpreter? Here we go. Here's your interpreter. Hello. Good evening. Ladies um, and man of the world, Vietnam, please choose a flag. I love it. He's very literal. He went and he chose. He's a man who knows what he wants. Yes, yes, 
All right. Your quote for this evening is, A little learning is a dangerous thing. This was said by Alexander Pope. A little learning is a dangerous thing. Um, câu hỏi của em tối nay là, Những cái điều uh, học hỏi nhỏ là những điều nguy hiểm. Những điều học hỏi nhỏ là những điều nguy hiểm. A little những điều nguy hiểm. Uh, sorry, everyone. I don't speak English very well. Yeah. Uh, những cái điều uh, những điều học hỏi nhỏ là những điều nguy hiểm. Thì theo uh, tôi nghĩ cái này đó là do cách tiếp thu và tiếp nhận của mỗi người như thế nào. Tại vì mỗi người sẽ có mỗi cách suy nghĩ và sẽ có mỗi cái tư duy khác nhau. Đôi khi những cái điều nhỏ đó, bạn với một cái tư duy không gọi là không được tốt thì bạn sẽ tiếp thu một cách sai trái và bạn sẽ làm sai cái điều đó. Nhưng tư duy của bạn tốt thì bạn tiếp thu cái 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 điều nhỏ nhặt đó nó ít nhưng mà đôi khi bạn sẽ tìm hiểu được từ cái điều nhỏ đó và nó sẽ thành một cái điều rất là lớn lao. Đôi khi một cái điều nhỏ nó sẽ làm lên cái sự thành công to lớn cho bạn trong tương lai. Thì chốt lại thì tôi nghĩ cái sự nhỏ đó nó không phải là một cái điều xấu xa mà đó là do cách nhận thức của mỗi người chúng ta. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, um, every little thing is good for us, even big thing or small thing. When we learn, is also good for uh, ourselves. The the more important is that we have to realize what is the good thing in our life. What is this is our mindset is more important than little or big thing. Even we learn every little thing can contribute to our characteristic. So. The, finally, we think that mindset is more important than anything. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for helping us here translating. Thank you also, Men of the World of Vietnam. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A big round of applause for your top five finalists for Man of the World, fourth edition, 